Another story of the famous Junagad fort in Bikani. So much of potential for tourism. Here we have the intangible heritage of Ustad Nyas Muhammad and his son, the Muhammad Sohe. They are restoring the wonderful paintings, this fort which was constructed from the 1480s to and went on getting constructed until the 1930s. Let, me, let us just understand how these people are restoring the paintings of the fort. Niazji, you start with the paintings of the fort? First of all, you have to paint it with drawing. Like you have to paint it with this. So on a tracing paper, first they create the representation, the exact dimensions of the, of the painting. Yes. Huh. बाद में उसके नीडल से होल करते हैं सेकंड नीडल। So then they take the tracing paper and you can see they do the needle perforation of the pattern on another sheet. After trace. And when you come closer, you will see that they put the tracing paper with the needle lining. और ये क्या है? White powder. ये white talcum powder. Talcum powder. Talcum powder. Yes. And they rub it on top like this. And the whole pattern comes. And you get and they start restoring. एक दरवाजा इतने बड़ा करने में आपको कितना समय लगता है? कम से कम 20 दिन लग जाते हैं। So to complete one door, it takes them 20 days or nearly a month, and they start work at nine o'clock in the morning till about six o'clock, the five o'clock. And these are people; they are the kings of preserving the intangible heritage of this great country. Let us support these people as tourism grows. This is the content of the cultural skill mapping that has to be factored into tourism.